Welcome to the Optimizing Strategies video. A strategy optimization will iterate over a set of possible input values throughout a defined optimization period while calculating the most effective mix of input values to achieve the best results for a chosen fitness metric. In this video, we will run an optimization on the preloaded sample MA crossover strategy and we will optimize the two user-defined inputs, the fast period and the slow period. Begin by selecting Optimization as the backtest type in the Settings section, then select Sample MA Crossover in the Strategy drop-down menu. To set up this test, we will focus on the Strategy Parameters and Optimize sections of the Optimization Parameters. For information on other settings, see the Backtesting Strategies video. The Strategy Parameters section allows us to define the range and interval of the values to be tested in the optimization. Each field in this section includes three values separated by semicolons. The first value represents the starting point for the optimization's permutations on that property. The second value represents the end point, and the third value represents the interval at which to iterate from the starting point to the ending point. For this example, we will use the values 5, 15, and 1 for the FAST property. This tells the optimizer to test values between 5 and 15, moving forward one number at a time. For the slow property, we will use the values 20, 50, and 2. This tells the optimizer to test values between 20 and 50, moving forward two numbers at a time. Because we are using an interval of 2, the optimizer will first test a value of 20, then 22, 24, 26, and so on, all the way to 50. The Optimize section allows us to fine-tune the optimization tests and results. The Keep Best Number of Results field sets the number of optimized results to store and present at the end of the test. We will leave this at the default value of 10 for this test. Enabling the Optimize Data Series property will allow us to optimize on the Value property under the Data Series section. If you check this button, you will see our value of 1 in this section change to a format which can be edited just like the Strategy Parameters section to test different data series intervals. For our test, we will optimize the data series by testing values from 5 to 30 at intervals of 5. The Optimize On drop-down menu allows you to select an optimization fitness for the test. This will provide the metric that the optimizer will attempt to maximize. In other words, the goal that it will try to achieve. For example, if max profit factor is selected, then the optimizer will base its results on the combination of parameters that achieved the highest max profit factor. And if min drawdown is selected, it will base its results on the combination providing the lowest minimum drawdown. Feel free to experiment with different optimization fitness metrics, and keep in mind that custom fitness metrics can be developed via NinjaScript as well. For this test, we will select Max Average Profit. The Optimizer property allows you to choose which optimization engine to use. We will use the default optimizer for this test, and we will cover the genetic optimizer in a separate video. With all properties set, click the Run button to begin the optimization. Due to the added complexity of optimizations, and depending on the number and range of optimized parameters, processing can take a bit longer than a standard backtest. After the test completes, optimization results will be visible in the left-hand pane. The best optimization results will be displayed at the top of the list, and the results of all other saved combinations will be listed below it. When optimizing more than one instrument at a time, this list will be separated by instrument, with the best results for each instrument at the top of each respective list. We can now analyze the results of the test in any of the performance displays. For this example, we will look at the optimization graph display, which is only available for optimization tests. For more information on other available displays, see the Strategy Analyzer Overview video. First, switch the display to Optimization Graph. Next, select Fast in the Parameter 1 drop-down menu and select Slow in the Parameter 2 drop-down. Finally, select a graph in the Graph drop-down menu. In this example, we will look at the Gross Profit Graph. Here we can see three values plotted on an X, Y, and Z axis. The X axis in this chart represents the FAST property. 
The y-axis represents the slow property, and the z-axis represents the gross profit resulting from specific combinations of fast and slow values. When viewing the 3D graph, you can click and drag with the left mouse button to orbit the graph, click and drag with the middle mouse button to pan around, and use your mouse's scroll wheel to zoom in or out. In the graph, we can see that specific combinations of fast and slow values clearly plot higher on the z-axis than others, indicating potentially optimal combinations of fast and slow values. If we were to compare these particular combinations to the permutations listed in the top panel, we would see a correlation between the permutation with the highest performance and the x and y coordinates matching up with the highest z-axis value in the graph. Thank you for viewing the Optimizing Strategies video.